Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Building Games on AWS. This is episode two of the Game Analytics Pipeline series. My name is Gina Gizzi. I'm a solutions architect with AWS Game Tech. And in today's episode, we're going to discuss common industry challenges that we see when it comes to doing analytics for games. And we'll introduce a solution that we created here at AWS to address some of these common industry challenges. So games are generating more data than ever. So how do you know what data to collect? Well, the answer really depends on the questions that you have and the answers that you're looking to get. Now, there's tons of different types of data you can collect, but to make it a little bit easier, we've been able to categorize data into two different categories, user data and performance data. Now with user data, we have things like player analytics. This is all of the data that's used to help understand the player as a customer. So things like their purchasing behavior and how frequently they're engaged. There's social and community data. This helps you understand how players interact with other members of the community. And then there's gameplay data, which is all aspects of how the player plays your game, like in-game behaviors, what levels they spend the most time on, which items they use the most, and more. And then on the other side, there's performance data, wait times and delays. No player wants to wait around in a matchmaking lobby for 20 minutes, right? There's network performance and latency. If you're developing a latency sensitive game, such as a first person shooter, you have to pay close attention to the end user latency that your players are experiencing so that you can optimize it. And then Finally, there's application logs and bug reports. When you experience errors or bugs, you'll want to have a way to analyze this and remediate the issues as fast as possible. Ideally, you want to collect all of this data and more, so understand what data to collect and how to collect it is the first challenge. The second challenge is understanding that the data you collect has a shelf life. The older data becomes, the less useful it is in helping you with timely reactions. Again, you really need to consider the questions you have and the type of answers that you're looking to get to really understand when is the best time to look at your data. To address this, there's typically two different types of data analytics pipelines. There's batch analytics pipelines and there's also real-time pipelines that allow you to get insights at different speeds. But with this comes the challenge of managing data at those different speeds. Another challenge that we commonly see is that traditional analytics solutions are hard to manage and scale, especially if you don't have the time to manage infrastructure. And as a result, people typically go to out of the box solutions, but these solutions aren't really flexible. They can create data silos, which means that instead of having your data in one centralized place, that makes it easy for analytics, your data actually lives in a lot of separate places, which makes it hard to get insights across all of your data. And these out of the box solutions are not really extensible if you wanted to incorporate live ops, AI ML or more advanced analytics down the road. Another common industry challenge is that many game studios are small, so a lot of them don't actually have the people or the resources or the time to manage infrastructure, and they don't have data experts on hand. To address these industry challenges, we created the Game Analytics Pipeline, which is a solution that helps game developers launch a scalable serverless data pipeline to ingest, store, and analyze telemetry data generated from all of your different games and services. This solution supports streaming data, which allows you to get insights in near real time, as well as batch insights for more historical data that you might be collecting. Some of the benefits of this pipeline include, first, the fact that it's entirely serverless, which means that there's no infrastructure to manage. 
It also allows you to ingest and store data at scale. It's backed by Amazon Kinesis data streams to ingest real-time data at a massive scale and then store that data in Amazon S3 in a data lake with uh, built-in data tiering, making it the most cost-effective and scalable place to store all of your large amounts of data. You can also analyze all of this data with flexibility. You can use the tools that you want to use, whether it's analytics tools that we offer like Athena or QuickSight or any other third-party analytics tools that you want. And it also has an easy deployment and customization. It's modeled as infrastructure as code using cloud formation. So you can easily deploy the infrastructure needed for the solution in less than 10 minutes and customize it as needed. So click the link in the description if you want to go to the landing page of the Game Analytics Pipeline solution to start checking it out and exploring the solution. And also make sure to stay tuned for the next episode where we'll do an architecture review of the solution.